take a deep breath if you want. And accept the sensation of the body, accept it as a dream, accept it as a perception. And appreciate the relative understanding of this intelligent design of a universe that goes through cycles and cycles of learning as individuated agents of the one, experiencing partial points of views of all that is possible, learning it, dissecting it, increasing its frequency, its understanding, its expansion, its self-realization. And as it expands and as it ascends, the texture and flavor of its illusion of what it dreams begins to heighten it increases in density of aliveness, in density of intelligence, in density of consciousness, in transparency to the oneness of all things, and finally the one before the oneness of all things. And appreciate that design, but not as defining what you are. Simply appreciate that as long as you have this perception, it is here to understand and appreciate and be gone beyond. But while it is appearing, one has to interact with the appearance. And appreciation is one of the most powerful accelerators of awakening. And it allows the smoothing out of the kinks in your creation, the distortions in your understanding as an individual perceiving this creation. None of it is you, but you can hold it in an appreciative view, understanding that you are working with a vehicle that has its limitations, and that's an expression of infinity, and that it can be tweaked and altered and understood learned from, evolved, and within this illusion it can share the benefit of its vibration, of its understanding, because the denser in understanding and consciousness and clarity you become, this will funnel itself intelligently, naturally through the vehicle that you are representing yourself with, your avatar here, your body, mind, spirit complex. It's not you. It's your avatar inside the mirror. And there's many forms in the mirror that are completely fooled by the mirror. So the benefit now becomes to awaken, to aid and assist in the acceleration of the awakening of others. The best way to do that is to awaken as deeply as you can yourself, so prioritize this on a day-to-day -day basis. However, while the appearance is still here, Again, it is good to appreciate the relative purposefulness of the vehicle, of the avatar that you have here. It is only a temporary game, so not to be taken too seriously, but to engage with, nevertheless, sincerely, with appreciation. For it is not separate from the one, it just never touches the one. Be appreciative of what appears inside of the isness is an indirect approach to appreciating the self, the infinite. It is a form of appreciating or realizing the self, but it is simply indirect. So also make it a priority to tweak, to upgrade the frequency of this vehicle, the density of light that this vibration, this beingness holds, so that your radiance will become more radiant, that your brightness becomes brighter, that your consciousness becomes more conscious, that your frequency increases, vibration increases, the love, the light that you can contain in your understanding, within your appreciation, increases. Send it out like a beacon into this dream, into this mirror, rippling out, touching the hearts of all beings, 
specifically planet Earth, as that is the location in the space-time that you chose to insert your avatar in. So radiate it to this planet and to the people on this planet. Visualize them too waking up magically, stumbling upon a deeper realization of self, of the oneness of all things, initially, and ultimately the freedom beyond all things, the freedom of things, the freedom from all things. Stepping it down even more relatively, appreciating the purposefulness of your specific intention of being here today, the blueprint of your vehicle, of your avatar in this space-time location. Activate an imagination of appreciation of your purposefulness of appearing through this avatar, being a channel for the real self more and more every day. Understanding the laws of physics in the same way you can understand the laws of vibration and understand that this dream will reflect itself to you differently depending on how you feel, what do you imagine, what you believe, what you decide, what you're convinced of. So be convinced of greatness, of brightness, of radiance. Be convinced of love. Be convinced of light. Be convinced that this is an illusion. Be convinced of that lightness, that freedom. And send it out. Continue to radiate it through your avatar. And allow the reflections of that love, of that clarity, of that light, of that brightness, of that radiance, allow those reflections to come into your body and be produced into your world and into your actions and into your experiences. No, it is not what you are. But appreciate it as a reflection of what you are, as an expression from the infinite reality that you are, with the purpose to awaken to itself through this dream, through the forms inside the mirror. Contribute to that mission, that universal evolutionary mission while this appears, while you are conscious of this. Be excited and appreciative of this opportunity, of this channeling. Be excited to be a messenger to speak at your clearest, to move at your most graceful, to love to the fullest extent possible within the dream of form and experience, to create an epic, aligned, effortlessly joyful, abundant, dream that inspires others and that gives you the tools and the means to continue to further to inspire others physically, metaphysically, and beyond both. Put everything in your life in context to becoming a messenger of the love and the light of the one infinite creator and the oneness of all things within the mirror of the illusion of the creator. Strengthen yourself vibrationally by allowing these frequencies to come forth, this crystallization, this balance of love and light to occur within you, so that your radiance becomes more radiant, your brightness becomes brighter, your clarity becomes clearer, your consciousness more conscious, your love more loving, and your light more filled with light. That the tools that you have within your physical existence become of such a nature that you can reach the minds and hearts of people on all levels of their dream reality so they can receive you consciously, subconsciously, unconsciously, subliminally, spiritually, physically, metaphysically through your resources, through your strength, through your radiance, through your skillfulness, 
through your talent, through your unique essence. Allow all this to flow through you powerfully, beautifully. Receive it because it is only coming from yourself and it will only return to yourself. It will only reach yourself for there's nothing but yourself. Increase the power and the grace of your channel, of your avatar, and of everything that it attracts to itself so that it can radiate more of itself to the world and awaken the dream to the dreamer and finally to the reality of the awakened self. This is your relative duty and honor, and I suggest you accept that with an optimistic view, with a grateful attitude. Being grateful for what you have been given and created by yourself, to yourself, for yourself. Become effective in both worlds, in both directions simultaneously, both as a self-realizer as well as as a messenger of that self-realization, understanding the loss of vibration and the dance of creation, knowing it is not real, it is not real, it is not real, nevertheless appreciating the purposefulness of the illusion, the intelligence of the design. Since there is only one, ultimately it is the reality of the one that is responsible for the dream. It is ultimately the infinite reality of the self that is responsible for the creation of the illusion. So if we do not appreciate the purposefulness of the illusion, we do not appreciate the self. It might be an indirect way to realize the self, but while we experience form and perception, it is just as valuable to appreciate the form and perception for the purposefulness that it has, which is breathed into this intelligent design, ultimately, not directly, but ultimately, by and through the one reality. Without the one reality, there would not be this eternal dream. To not appreciate the dream for its purposefulness is to not appreciate yourself, to create an artificial gap between the two that does not in reality exist. It is still a sign of doubting that you are free of all of this dream. If you're convinced you're free from all of this dream, then you would appreciate this dream when that appearance of the dream appears to you. You would understand it to be yourself even though it's not. The paradox would be resolved between creation and the real self. There will no longer be that separation. It is the human mind that makes that distinction that becomes non-appreciative of the purposefulness of this creation. Because it's a dream, it must not have purpose. It must not be good. It must not be true. But if there's only one, then who caused its creation? So you see, to not appreciate the dream and the vehicle and the avatar and the purposefulness of this being here right now in the appearance is to not appreciate that which is responsible for it. And if you don't appreciate the self, then how can you expect to realize more of it? All aspects of it need to be appreciated, understood, allowed, and yes, finally also let go of. But you cannot let go of that which you do not appreciate. Appreciation implies freedom of, freedom from. Resistance implies attachment to, resistance to. Appreciation, love, can only flow from freedom. If you don't love the dream, you are not yet the reality. There is a vast difference between suppression and self-realization. Between freedom and blockage. All this allowed to be exactly as it is and ultimately the one is responsible for the many. There is no separation. There is only perception.
we are one.